welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun little DIY for something that might be a good stocking stuffer this holiday season. This is actually something that I said I was going to do literally two years ago. Not even kidding. Kind of embarrassed to say that, but I was recently searching through my YouTube video history and for some reason I had ended up getting a bunch of comments on an older video that were like, did you ever do the DIY coffee scrub? And I was just like, no, and I just now realized that. Long story short, two years later, here I am. Wow, what a failure. Hi, my name is Kate and I fail as a YouTuber. So anyway, better late than never, I guess. If this is the first time you guys are on my channel, I swear I'm a better YouTuber than this. So please click subscribe, join my YouTube family so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And if you guys wanna see how I made this really fun DIY coffee body scrub, then just keep watching. All right, so you only need three ingredients for this coffee sugar scrub recipe. It is super easy. And then of course, you'll just need something to put your scrub in once you are done. I just chose a couple of mason jars. The ingredients you'll need are half a cup of raw sugar, half a cup of coffee grounds, and a fourth cup of coconut oil. I just started out by adding the sugar into the coffee grounds and then I just stirred that around with a fork a little bit just to kind of get it good and mixed before I added my coconut oil. Then with that same fork I just picked up my fourth cup of coconut oil and plopped that into the bowl. I found that this was easier to mix when it was at room temperature rather than if it was completely liquefied or completely cold. So room temperature is definitely the key. You'll be able to mix it up the easiest this way. And once it's totally mixed together, it should look something like this. After that, just grab your jar and start scooping your coffee scrub into the jar. I just grabbed a two tablespoon little scooper and started putting this into the jar. If you don't care about how much is going into each jar, don't worry about doing this. I just did this because I was doing two jars and if it's for the holidays and you might be giving it to a couple people, you might wanna make sure that there's the same amount. But if you don't care and this is not for the holidays, just screw your lid on and you're good to go. Now, if this is for the holidays, I'm gonna show you a couple ways to spice it up and make it look a little more festive. I have a roll of red and green washi tape and I'm just going to be placing this over that removable part of the lid. And then each row I'm going to tape as close to each other as I possibly can. That way it'll kind of look like I spray painted it or painted it or did something a little bit more than just putting tape on it. This is just a really quick and easy hassle-free way to jazz up the lid a little and the glitter is just so much fun. Also, this tape is super easy to remove, so if you give this to someone and they want to repurpose the mason jar, it's really easy to just pull that tape off if they no longer want it. So then I just cut around the top and pop the lid on, and as you can see, it just added a little something fun to the top of the lid. I also did this with a green washi tape, and they just turned out so cute. You could very easily just leave it at that, but you guys know me and I just have to make this totally decked out. So I found these really cute little wooden name tags at the dollar spot last year. Not sure if they have them this year, but I thought this would be a really cute, like rustic little way to do a to and from tag so that you can personalize this to whoever you're giving it to. Or if you just want to do this and give it to yourself and make it look all cute, then you do you boo boo. So I attached a little wooden tag to a small piece of red tool and I just wrapped that around my coffee scrub and tied it in a bow, fluffed that out and then I have a really fun little gift that you could give to a friend, to family, to whoever you want to give it to, even if you just want to give it to yourself. So that is it for this DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next one.